Our recipe consists of three ingredients measured by mass. 65% potassium nitrate, 34% sucrose, and 1% iron oxide. Start by taking your digital scale and setting it to zero with a cup on top. We start with the 65% potassium nitrate. To make a 200 gram batch, we will need 130 grams. Zero the scale. Continue to add your 34% sucrose, which in this case is 68 grams, and then your 1% iron oxide, which should be 2 grams. Mix the ingredients thoroughly, and carefully pour the mixture into a coffee grinder. Blend. and pour the resulting powder into a saucepan on your electric hot plate. You may need to do this several times depending on your coffee grinder. Set the hot plate on high and begin stirring the mixture with a heat resistant spatula. As the powder gets hot, the sugar will caramelize and form a sticky layer on the bottom. Use your spatula to scrape this layer off the bottom of the pan. The cooking process can take anywhere between 5 and 20 minutes depending on the amount of mixture, the temperature of the hot plate, and the amount of leftover material in the pan from previous batches. Your solid rocket fuel is complete when the mixture is smooth and shiny, without lumps. So let's test it out. If you want to make your rocket fuel into an actual rocket, you're going to need a chamber. There are many different ways to do this. Typically, I'll jam kitty litter into the bottom of a stiff cardboard tube, like you might find on wrapping paper. Kitty litter is composed of pellets of bentonite clay, which will form a hard plug when compressed. Turn the hot plate down to medium temperature. With the help of a friend to keep the mixture stirred, scoop the rocket fuel into the rocket body. This is easier said than done, so be patient. Air bubbles in the fuel can cause the rocket to explode, so the fuel should be packed down using a wooden rod. Use a smaller diameter stick to core the rocket. Add a fuse, and your rocket engine is ready for action. 